now let us take up a problem which appeared in jam 2018 and it involves a reaction of a potassium salt of pyrrol with chloroform in sodium ethoxide as a base so if we remember a very very well known name reaction which is ryman ryman reaction then we can easily understand that whenever we have a base and a chloroform whenever there is a chloroform and a base is involved in a reaction that we, it leads to the formation of carbene as an intermediate for example in rymer timen reaction what you have is this phenol which when treated with chloroform with NaOH or KOH as a base it leads to the formation of this ortho hydroxy benzaldehydes and the intermediate in this particular reaction is this dichlorocarbene okay so in this particular reaction similar sort of an intermediate is formed let's look at how how to counter this particular problem okay okay so as i said that the first step of the reaction would be the abstraction of hydrogen by this base which is sodium ethoxide it leads to the formation of this particular derivative and then dechlorination leads to the formation of this dichlorocarbene intermediate okay and then we have this potassium salt of pyrrol which attacks this dichlorocarbene because they are very reactive species and then it leads to the formation of this particular species now this negative charge again goes back so what we have here is this particular you know three membered intermediate or you can say uh, yes it, it's sort of an intermediate which has formed now this negative charge comes over here this bond moves here and this chloro leaves okay so it directly leads to the formation of this pyridine three chloropyridine we can easily understand this let's let's name it let's name this carbon 1 2 3 Four, five, six. So now we have six carbons. Now this carbon with chlorine is one, two, three, four, five, six. We can clearly see that there is a double bond that is between one and two, and then we have a double bond between three and four. And this lone pair of electron has come in between this five and six. So it leads to the formation of this three chloro pyridine. And from the option given, it is the option C, which is the correct option. So this is how you have to. counter this particular problem this can also be given in this way for example whenever we treat pyrrols with chloroform and koh okay it also leads to the formation of this three chloro pyridines okay so this is how you have got to counter these sort of a problems okay and if you have any confusions regarding other problems do send it to me on my email id which is unlockchemistry@gmail.com thank you very much